you know, what do you think of today's ceremony? And, you know, what is it like finally being able to do something like this in person after what has been a long pandemic? Well, it's, it's always a very solemn uh, ceremony and a solemn occasion. Uh, but it, there is something special about being able to gather again uh, in person and, and have uh, a ceremony like today. It, it, last year, like so many other things, it was canceled. Um, uh, you know, I think we all remembered and paused in our own way last year to reflect on the sacrifice so many Americans have made over the years. But to be together in a community like this, um, I, I think it was, uh, I, I think people enjoyed this and appreciated the opportunity to be together and uh, kind of re reflect together. Ceremonies like these are always very touching. Yeah. And for the Toledo ones that weren't able to make it out today, what is your message to them as we honor our veterans on this Memorial Day weekend? Well, I know it's almost a cliche to say it, uh, but it really is true that uh, the over 1.5 million Americans who uh, have died in, in the wars that have been waged since 1775, uh, you know, those 1.5 million Americans made the ultimate sacrifice, and it is the case, it is true, that the freedoms that we take for granted and celebrate and enjoy, freedom to worship, freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, all, everything, uh, they are all possible uh, because of that sacrifice. And I know that sometimes that sentiment is communicated in a way that makes it seem like a cliche or makes it seem trite, but it's true, it really is true. Um, you know, our country was uh, built on an ideal uh, that we're still working toward. You know, I, I don't know that we have formed that more perfect union that the Founding Fathers talked about, but, but the, uh, the, the effort is worth it. Uh, the ability to uh, get better, to, to learn, to evolve, to, to be, uh, you know, the, the best hope for democracy on earth, you know, as Wilson and others have said. So that ideal is important and, um, and we're only able to continue our journey because of the sacrifices that over a million and a half Americans have made. So um, being able to pause like this, um, especially as we begin summer, this weekend is also usually associated with the beginning of summer. It's, it's, it's the right time uh, to reflect on uh, the freedoms we have and that now finally after a year of restrictions are gonna be able to enjoy again as we move forward in 2021.